How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with a Through the Mail Thursday video. We've got nine returns stacked up over here. All from Pennsylvania. Primarily Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, and Philadelphia. So let's see who you can get out of Pennsylvania. TTM. We're going to start in Pittsburgh, PA for the first few. And then make our way across the state to Philadelphia. But hope everybody's week is still going well. We have a Dave just the start. Hopefully I don't lose my voice with uh, nine returns. But 68 tops, 71 tops, pretty nice. 65 tops, and then a 1970 tops. So four from Dave Justy, very nice, great TTMer. Actually used a, a pretty, a much, a much thicker we'll say, not not super thick, but he usually has a really thin sharpie. This one's a little thicker. He won a hundred games in his career. Pitch for the Colts, the Colt 45s, excuse me. This is in football. Astros, the Cardinals, the Pirates, of course, the A's, and the Chicago Cubs. Was an all-star in 1973, helped the Pirates win the World Series in 1971, and was the NL saves leader in 1971. Very nice return for Mr. Dave Justy. Checking out the spreadsheet, we have a 4-4 success in 10 days. Very cool. Let's put that 70 tops up. Nah, 71, that's when they won the World Series. Put these other ones down here. Thank you, Mr. Dave Jesse. We're going to go to Pittsburgh, PA again. I think we have five from Pittsburgh. Let's see what we have here. Dick Grote. One pirate to another. Wow, that turned out great with the blue Sharpie there. Dick Grote. Former great Duke basketball player. And then, of course... Went on to the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1952 to 1962. His rookie card is hard to come by. It's a 52 high number. Going to spend a lot of money if you want that card. But 286 career batting average with 2,138 hits, 39 home runs, and 707 runs batted in. Helped the Pirates win the World Series in 1960 and the Cardinals win the World Series in 1964. But in 1960, he was also the NL batting champion. An NL MVP. He was selected to eight All-Star games in his career. And it's not part of the Baseball Hall of Fame, but it is part of the Pittsburgh Pirates Hall of Fame. Checking out the spreadsheet. We have a one of one success. Ten days again. Mr. Dick Grode. I believe I sent $5 along with this card as well. He took uh, some time off from signing. Seems to be back at it. I think $5 will get it done. Mr. Dick Grove, great blue Sharpie signature. Pittsburgh PA is where we remain. This one seems pretty thick. I have to slice into it carefully. Almost sliced my finger off. Hey, it's Roy Face. Three Pirates to start off the week. 80, no, 1968 tops. We have a 56 here, I believe. That one's kind of cool. It's a top super teams. I think it's numbered. Yeah, in 1960 when they won the World Series. Some 2002 tops. And then a 62 tops. Very nice return for Mr. Roy Face. Or Elroy Face as he signs. Man, check that out. 4-4. Four, four. I know I sent him a little bit of a donation as well. But pitched the majority of his career with the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1953. To 1968 also spent a little bit of a cup of coffee with the Tigers in the Expos. But for the Pirates was a six-time All-Star. Helped to win the 1960 World Series. I think he was the first to close out three games in a World Series. Really was one of the first closers ever. Had 193 saves in his career. With a 348 ERA, 877 strikeouts, and won 104 games as well. Not bad. Not a part of the Baseball Hall of Fame, but is part of the Pirates Hall of Fame. Checking out the spreadsheet, Mr. Roy Face got back to us in six days. 4-4 four, four success. I did send $10 along with these cards. So, not too bad. He does not require a fee, I don't believe. But, I mean, Roy Face has been a great T-teamer for a long time. I believe he's 95 now. Dick Rhodes 91, I think. 
I mean, pretty incredible. Put these cards down here. Next one. No shocker. Pittsburgh, PA. We have another pirate. I swear this won't be all pirates. It can't be. But Manny Sanguin on the 72 tops. Hold on. Hold on. We have a 71 in here too. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I know I sent two cards. There we go. Manny Sanguin, 71 tops when they won the World Series. 72 tops. Pretty nice there. Spent most of his career again with the Pittsburgh Pirates. I promise you, this can't be all Pirates. But if you're a Pittsburgh fan, this is a good video for you. But played for the Pirates from 67 to 76, and then again from 78 to 1980. Only spent one year with the A's in 1977. But with the Pirates, was a three-time All-Star. Helped them win two World Series in 1971 and 1979. Had a 296 career batting average with 65 home runs and 585 runs batted in. Checking out the spreadsheet. 202 success, 22 days, $10 fee per signature. If you go to a Pirates game though, you can go to his barbecue shack and I believe get his signature for free. So very nice. Thank you Mr. Manny Sanguin. Put that 71 tops up there. 72 right below it and we're gonna do our last return from Pittsburgh PA what is that five total is it another pirate we shall see no but it's a stealer Bruce Van Dyke I think these are his rookies could be wrong but two 1973 tops cards doesn't really have very many cards so he might have a 76 I'm not too sure on that but Bruce Van Dyke, former 12th round pick in the 1966 NFL Draft, 15th round in the AFL Draft that year, to the Philadelphia Eagles, where he spent one year, then went over to the Steelers from 67 to 1973, and spent his career, his last parts of his career with the Green Bay Packers from 1974 to 1976, was a pro baller in 1973 with the Pittsburgh Steelers, part of their Legends team. And was a two-time All-Pro, again with those Pittsburgh Steelers, in 1972 and 1973. Checking out my spreadsheet, we have a 2 of 2 success in just 10 days. Thank you, Mr. Bruce Van Dyke, for your autograph. Very cool. Next return, let's go a little east to Harrisburg, PA. We have hard card. We're going to be mature here, but Mr. Dick Shiner on a 69 tops. I like that autograph. Really cool. Nice ballpoint. Goes really well with the card. These cards are actually kind of expensive for what I would expect, but Mr. Dick Shiner, 64 NFL draft, seventh round pick to the Washington Redskins after a collegiate career, University of Maryland. Played with Washington from 64 to 66, then bounced around to the Browns, the Steelers, the Giants, the Falcons, and the Patriots. Threw 36 touchdowns in his NFL career for 4,800 passing yards. Pretty nice career there for Mr. Dick Shiner. Let's go to our spreadsheet and see here. We have a 1-1 -on -one success in just five days. Very cool. Thank you, sir, for your autograph. Next return. We're going to stay in Harrisburg, PA. Hey, it's Earth Day. We have... Oh, that looks sweet. Sparky Lyle. Not sure why I threw the envelope up there. Let's put it over there. But look at that silver ink on that 74 Tops card from Mr. Sparky Lyle. He's got something in there he's chewing on. Uh, 72 tops and a 70 tops. I like that he switched the colors up on that. Those all look great. Probably going to have to feature that 74 with that silver ink. Sparky Lyle though. Very nice. Made his debut with the Boston Red Sox in 1967 and pitched all the way to 1982 with the Chicago White Sox. Bookend with some Sox teams. Won 99 games in his career with a 288 ERA. 873 strikeouts and 238 saves with the Red Sox, the Yankees, 
the Rangers, the Phillies, and the White Sox. Was a three-time All-Star. Won two World Series back-to-back -back with the New York Yankees in 77 and 78. Won the Cy Young Award win. Or he was the AL Cy Young Award winner in 1977. And led the AL in saves twice. 72 and 76. He does have a $5 fee per signature. But as you can see here, he takes good care of it. Putting silver ink on that uh, black background. I guess dark navy or whatever. The, uh, the Yankees blue pinstripes there. But 3 of 3 success. 10 days. $5 per. Thank you, Mr. Sparky Lyle. Hard throw on lefty. Man, we gotta put one of these up, right? Yeah. Oh no, we're running out of space already. Nine returns. Should we stop now? Let's keep going to Philadelphia, PA. We got two left. Keep this train moving. Bill Mazeroski. Alright, okay. Maybe it is a Pirates week. 58 tops. And then Maz signed the 71 tops. Very nice. His second year and then much later on in his career. Mr. Bill Mazeroski. Made his debut with the Pittsburgh Pirates on July 7th, 1956 and played his last game in the majors and with them on October 4th, 1972. He was a 10-time All-Star, won the 60 World Series and the 71 World Series, which is well represented this week as we see with those Pittsburgh Pirates. Won eight gold gloves. The Pirates have retired as number nine. He's in their Hall of Fame. He's in the National Baseball Hall of Fame via the Veterans Committee in 2001. Hit 260 in his career with 2016 hits, 138 home runs, and 853 runs batted in. Also coached with the Pirates after his playing career. And we have a 2-2 two two success, 9 days, $10 fee per. Well worth it for any Hall of Famer in my opinion. And we're going to have to feature, ooh, that's 58 tops. Very nice card. Last return. It's barely on screen, but how about Philadelphia PA again? Thank you for bearing with me this week. I'm sure you're excited if you're a, a Pittsburgh fan. We have a blank card. We have a Bobby Chance. All right. Oh, Bobby Chance, he's 97. Check out that 61 postcard. And then this is a 90, uh, 79 TCMA card. Very cool. Put his AL MVP inscription there on the uh, TCMA card. Very nice for Mr. Bobby Shantz. Made his debut in 1949. Man. And then his last Major League Baseball appearance was 1964. He won 119 games in his career with a 3 3 8 ERA, 1,072 strikeouts. Played with the A's, the Yankees, the Pirates, the uh, Colt 45s, the Cardinals, the Cubs, and the Phillies. Was a three time All Star. Won a World Series in 1958 with the New York Yankees. Of course, was the AL MVP in 1952, where I believe he won 24 games. Also, won eight consecutive gold gloves. Checking out the spreadsheet here, Mr. Bobby Chance got back to us in seven days. Two or two success, $5 fee per. Thank you, sir, for your autograph. Thank you all for sticking with me through nine returns from the state of Pennsylvania. Hope your mailboxes are full. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.